Hi everyone, Shaky Tam here and Tim. Hi everybody. Today, thanks to Brian, we're going to be doing a British taste test. Now it looks like wow. this box has been sat on. Was there tape on this before you sent it, Brian, or did that happen afterwards? I say he's taped it up. Give everyone a quick look inside. That's it. Oh look, there's a note. Hello Cheeky Tam and Cheeky Tim. Oh, I've got a Cheeky Tim. Here's some more sweets from the UK. Brian, the hot nuts are spicy, so be warned. I like them. Hope you do. <laughs> Brian sent us some more of this lovely liquid walkers toffee. Good news Brian, I found somewhere in Australia that actually sells this. There's a place okay. online that sells British sweets and they sell this. Especially so they're not as nice as Brian's ones. Look at them all. Yeah. Tim is going to be so excited. He <laughs> loves cleaning this stuff off the tiles when I've gotten into a feeding frenzy. She does. She smashes it well and truly. But I think you're supposed to break it in the cup in the packet. Tomorrow unwraps it, no, takes it out and throws no. it on the ground. No I don't. They don't know that. <laughs> Got pizza cashews, my favourite nut. Let's do a British taste test. I think we should start off with the round trees. I've had these ones before. See, okay. Brian does this to test our memory. <laughs> You'll always win with me, Brian. <laughs> I've got to ask him if I've seen a movie or not. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's all new until about half an hour in when we settle down and go, Tim, we've seen it, Tim, we've seen it. And you go, no, we haven't, no, we haven't. But it's still fun. For you. Tried these before, so we won't be trying them today, but they're very nice. I think Tam remember when she saw the pussy cat with the love yes, heart. Yes, they're lovely nice. and juicy and fruity. Very good. We've tried these before and we've tried these before. Yes. We're putting those aside and we're really appreciative because we're going to enjoy those yeah, thoroughly. We do. I think we should start off with a bounty today. It's a dark bounty. Okay, can you say that word? Dark herb, dark purr. Do you like bounties? Do you like coconut? coconut? Yeah. I mean, look at that beautiful tropical cover. Oh, see how well I did that? Oh, look at that. Yum. Oh. Look at that gorgeous, glossy black chocolate. Got palm trees and it says bounty as well. How cool is that? It's pretty good. Ah. And there's two separate bars in the one packet. Mine already. So have a look in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Coconut. It's, it's mushed up coconut together. I'll have a little piece. I've put on so much weight since this isolation from COVID. That's amazing. <laughs> so have a lot of people. Enjoying life. Mmm. Mmm. Do you like the dark bounty? I love it. I like it way better. And thank you, Brian. But I love this way better than a normal bounty. I think the bitterness of the chocolate balances out the sweet of the coconut. Mmm. Oh, she's got hold of it. I was going to steal it to my side. There you go, honey. <laughs> I like the milk chocolate better. You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? Oh, that's why you gave it to me, because you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was she loved me. It's nice. I do like it, but I like the milk chocolate one better. For me, the coconut filling always feels a bit weird. It feels like someone's already had it in their mouth. Oh, Enjoy it's been it masticated. Tim loves that one. Loves it. Brian has sent us four packets of these. Yeah, and they're KP cashews. They're salted. <laughs> cashews, love them. Are they your Everyone, favourite nuts? Everyone's seen a cashew. Show them anyway. Well, you've got to see what they're like when they come out. Yeah, they might one. be like weird looking. Mmm, they're nice. Nicely salted too. Mm. The cashew nut, it really is quite a unique nut, isn't it? What would you say the flavour is like? If someone asked you, how can you describe a cashew nut to them? Wow. Talk about putting me on the spot. <laughs> I would just say it's cashew flavoured. But it's a creamy sort of nut. It's a soft nut. There you go. In the comments below, let us know how you would describe cashews, their taste. Do you yes. like them plain or do you like them salted? Do you like them like that? Do you like them like that? Because <laughs> if you don't, you've got no chance. Really good. Really Winner. tasty. That's a good nut. I like they're in a, like a portion size. That's so you can limit yourself. You have two packs instead of two big handfuls. Two for me, one, one for, for you. Me. It's another chocolate bar and this one is Galaxy Dark Chocolate. It's a roasted hazelnut one. You should like this Tim because Tim's favourite chocolate is dark chocolate. I like the bitterness. This one didn't really make the journey. It did, we got it. <laughs> what <One> chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what I mean? That's when the postman sat on the no. box. see. Okay. That looks glossy, good. isn't it? Look at the beautiful little pieces, aren't they cute? That's nice. It's more of a sweet. 
Oh, yeah, it's a sweeter dark chocolate, isn't it? Mm. That's why you like it. Hazelnuts are really tiny little chips, so you don't get a full nut in it. That's why I had the bump in the top, I thought it had a big nut in it. It's just like <laughs> shredded up and put into the chocolate. It's really smooth chocolate as well. A little bit on the sweet side instead of the bitter side for dark sweet. chocolate. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Who makes it, does it say? Is it just Galaxy or is that the type of chocolate? Questions, question. I was told before, but I forgot what company. Mars Wrigley Confectionery Mars. UK Limited. The Lion Football Gums are next. And they're licorice gums. All natural colours and flavours. Made by the Tangerine Confectionery Limited Company. We yeah. haven't had these before, have we? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 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 Sorry. it's got pants, football, a football boot, and this one is a little football jersey. So licorice gums, but then you've got some fruity flavoured ones as well. I'm going to try with a, a fruity one first, the green one. I'm going to go red. Mm. Oh, wow. They're very chewy. Well, they're gums. They're like wine gums. Mm. Very nice. Oh. Did it bite your back? Mm. Biting myself so much lately. Oh, yeah? Oh, stop. <laughs> Weird. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I want an that orange one. one this time. Mm. Different flavours, you can taste the orange in it. The red one was quite nice, it was a, a raspberry sort of flavour. What colours have you had? This one, I'm still going on the same one. Too busy biting myself. I like the lime flavour one, that's nice. I want to try the licorice one. I'm a huge licorice fan. I think I like the fruity ones better than I like the licorice one. I do like the licorice, but the fruit ones are nicer. Anyway, lion football gums. Do you take these to the football and smash into them while you watch the game being played? Perhaps you just sit there and bite yourself like I do. <laughs> Would you buy them again? Yes. I'm going to put that in your pile. Last but not least. Excuse me. The galaxy chocolate goes in my pile. Psycho nuts. He sent us three packets of these ones and I'm a little bit scared of them. Look at the cover. It's scary. Psycho nuts, ghost pepper. No. And it says, hallowed be thy pain <gasps> on the bottom. Kill a nagger peanuts, look. What's a nagger? I don't know, we're going to find out though. It's got a skull and crossbones on it as well. I'm actually really scared. Tim's not scared. Sorry, I'm reading the packet, guys. Reading your fate. Dr. Bernerums. What? Extraordinary. It's got all these Dr. weird... Dr. Bernerums? Yeah. Obviously not a real doctor. Scissors. Yes. too hot, they're childproof. Yeah, probably for a reason so little kids don't get into these. Yeah. <laughs> I don't happen like a crazy I'm person. I'm on the safe side this time because she's going to cut that way. Have a look. Ooh, they look a little red and angry. Rawr! Mm. <laughs> oh, you can smell it. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm actually a little bit scared. of burn on the back I'm of my scared. sniffer then. There you go. That's what they look like, guys. Very nice. Have some, Tim. Oh, I'm excited because it sort of feels, I think, oh, wow, that feels salty. But it, they've obviously got a lot of bits of chilli in them as well. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Oh, right, and you like these? <laughs> I'm gonna have some more, just see if I can get past the pain. Oh. Have you swallowed them yet? Oh my god! Here, have some more. Have those. Why are we having more? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna eat them till we start perspiring. Well, it's easy for me. Mm -hmm. I've stopped biting myself. Oh. Now the food's biting me. What do you follow these with, Brian? Do you have a drink with them or I'll something? I lie down on the floor. That's what you follow it with. He did warn us though, thank you. Oh. The hot nuts are spicy, so be warned. I do like them, but my tongue doesn't. My throat even feels like it's on fire. I've gone red in the face. <laughs> Tim's crying. Brian, you made Tim cry. Who would believe that Uncle Brian would do that to yeah. you? <laughs> Thank Uncle Brian for making me cry. <laughs> I really do like them. I wonder if you get used to it. and After a while, you just don't notice it. I don't know if these are actually too hot for me. Oh. Well, they're called Psycho Nuts for a reason. I will eat them. Well, see, right now I'm holding this and oddly enough, even though like I was like, oh my gosh, fire, I do actually feel like going back for some more. Yeah, because once the burn settles down, you're ready for yeah. it. Yeah. Try another one. Let me know how it goes. Oh, you did. See, they're quite salty as well, which I like. Oh. But wow, that chili. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It keeps hitting. Oh, my head's getting all itchy. <laughs> Let us know in the comments oh. below if you've tried these psycho nuts. They're some of the hottest nuts I've ever had. Oh, easily. Hot. 
very spicy. Thank you so much, Brian, for sending us all of these treats. We really do appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. And thanks so much for watching, everyone. We really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic week and stay safe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>